You smell smoke? Uh-huh, I get it. Smoke, chimney, chimney sweep, very funny, haha. -ha. No, 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 I'm serious. You don't smell it? Something's on fire. No, I don't, I don't smell anything. Oh, you know what? It's probably just your burning loins. <laughs> Hey, what are you guys, what are you guys talking about? Nothing. Yeah. Mm. Damn, this coffee's cold. Uh, hey, Rich, do you mind if I heat this up on your loins? <laughs> you know, I cannot believe you told him, Joey. <laughs> so I guess you bought that book after we broke up, huh? Uh-huh, yeah, I did, because I wore out my first copy when I was with you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, well, uh, when we were going out, I read tons of porno magazines. So. Ross, how could you do that to an old man? Excuse me, ladies. I'm sorry? My massage client, Arthur, his daughter called and said that some guy that worked for me gave him a really weird massage this afternoon. I gave him an extremely professional massage. He said you poked at him with wooden spoons. Okay, so it wasn't a, a traditional massage, but I did give him acupressure with a pair of chopsticks, and, and I gently exfoliated him with, with, with a mop. Well, he's never coming back, okay? You just cost me $80 a week. Hey, you know what? This is your fault. You're the one who didn't move his, his appointment. Oh, it's my fault? You didn't have to massage him. You could have sent him away. You could have not rolled Tonka trucks up and down his back. He said he liked that. Oh, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. Dude, what are you massaging an old man for? His daughter was hot. Gotcha. Look, Ross, I really need that $80 every week. Look, I am sure you'll find another massage client, Phoebe. Yeah, I'm sure I will, too. But until then, I'm going to massage you every week for the price of $100. Just said $80. Do you want me to mess up your puzzle? A hundred it is. <laughs> Hello, Zelda. Who are you supposed to be? The vicar. Do you even know what a vicar is? Like a goalie, right? Yeah. Look, Joey, it's enough, all right? The joke's over. I'm sick of it. You mean this isn't the sweet torment you've been waiting all your life for? Joey, I'm serious, all right? It's enough. You keep making these stupid jokes and these sleazy innuendos, and it's, I'm not, it's just not funny anymore. All right, I'm sorry. Rach, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, maybe I can make it up to you by taking you roughly in the barn. Oh. <laughs> All right, you know what? That's it. You want to do it? Let's do it. Huh? That's right. I want to do it with you. Been trying to fight it, but you've just said all the right things. Uh, I, I did? Yeah. Oh, I've been waiting so long to get on that body. This body? Yeah, that's right. Come on, Joey, sex me up. Hey, yeah, you're starting to sound like the butcher's wife there in, in Chapter 7. Oh, come on now. Don't keep me waiting. Get those clothes off. But I would keep that helmet on, because you're in for a rough ride. I don't want to. I'm scared. Mm -hmm. 